Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and welcome to another episode of Transport Fever 2. We have connected all our cities and we have started producing uh, machinery that we are transporting to uh, Gothenburg. We have the machinery here. We just added a second train on this line. And uh, I guess the other one, yeah, the other one is coming back here. I've gone through all our lines and, uh, no, uh, yeah, all our vehicles on all lines and upgraded them. So the condition is very good on everything. And I've changed some of the vehicles to newer. So now all we have all bus lines are using these newer buses. Uh, I'm, I'm, I was looking to, like, wh what else can we do? But I'd, I'd love to get this this machinery going but we we don't have enough planks because all the planks we're using is transporting down here and here so i don't i don't really think we can do anything else in, by shipping these we i'd love to like produce plastic and then goods but we are using all the oil here to produce oil and fuel to deliver to all these cities so th there isn't enough industries to uh, to get this going so the map is a little bit unbalanced uh, at, yeah to say the least but what I want to do is to add a few more airports well at least one because I'm thinking if we add an airport in Oslo we can connect Luleå to Oslo and then Oslo to um, maybe Malmö. Since we have a train, Stockholm, Oslo, we don't need that. But we don't have a direct connection from uh, Malmö. So, but we have an airport here. So let's see if we... Let's pause that. Can we add... Well, first let's remove this. And we want a passenger terminal. And then I want to add... Oh, okay, I can't add that. So let's... If I do that, can I? Yeah. And then I need to connect. Oh, no, there's collision. Okay, let's do. There we go. Nah, it doesn't like. Let, let's see. Okay, we have some vehicles on there. There we go. So let's just make this look a little better. There we go. So we have an extra terminal there. Now we just need an airport. Let's unpause. I've also changed the time. I've done the date speed on half time before. I've added it to uh, one, well, to real time. Uh, so maybe we can access some more planes, newer planes that can carry more passengers. So Salen, where is Oslo? Oslo is down here. So let's see if we can. Yeah. I want to add a couple of these connectors. And then I want to add a road. Man, this looks. Yeah. Oh, the, it doesn't look nice at all. Do I want to move that? Well, and we need to connect the airport in a way, and the people, so... That is actually a connection. So if I do that, go down there. Do that, and then we'll see if we can add an airport. We want passenger. We want two terminals. Let's flip it around. Can we? Yeah. So it's, what we want is it, it should be connected to the bus stop and to both train, uh, train stations, and they are. So let's do that, two terminals. Let's add a new line from that to there. And this is air passenger, and it's actually, Sweden, 
Well, since we're gonna have another one to Luleå, we can't name it Sweden, Sweden, Norway. So let's just name it what it is. It's Oslo to Malmö. And then we want a new one. And that's from Malmö to, no, Oslo to uh, Luleå. Oslo, Lul. And since all the infrastructure is already uh, done, we can just add some planes on it. We're gonna go with, uh, with a Boeing 737. So I'm gonna add one here, and we got Oslo, Luleå first out, and then we add one the other direction. It's Oslo, uh, Malmö. And then we head up here, and we add a plane on the new, oh wait, okay, let's pause. We need, we need another one here, so let's get rid of that one. And we want passenger terminal. Can we fit this one here? No. There we go. And then we want yeah, it doesn't matter. You, Oslo, Lulio, you are using number two there. And we want to buy, and it was Oslo, Lulio. And then we head down to Malmö. And we're going to add a Boeing to Oslo, Malmö. So now we have two planes on this. It will probably take a little while and then, uh, and then we'll add more planes. But this, this looks like there will be a collision when they're coming in for landing. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, so I'll time lapse this and I'll be right back. It's not the prettiest shave of a mountain range, but uh, it's it's working. Yeah, I can probably smooth that out later on. But yeah, I won't waste time on that at the moment. We have some passengers that is starting to arrive. How does it look up in Arlulio? Yeah, we got passengers there as well. So how does Stockholm look and Malmö? Stockholm Malmö is busy. That's not it. This is it. Yeah, we got we got several people here. That's the that one. So let's buy another one and add to Oslo Malmö because they got is it yeah maybe it wasn't necessary but okay 
Yeah, it's almost two full planes. So let's see if we need to add another one here. 36. And it was Malmö. Yeah, that's two full planes and even more. So we can now got four planes on that line. We'll just keep an eye on that and hopefully we can get some larger planes. I know for sure that the Concorde is coming, right? What was the Concorde? Was that in 1976 or 7 or something? It should be, be pretty soon. Let's have a look at our financial situation. So, we got, yeah, this is the new fleet. We just had a, but it's full plane, so we should make money. And here's the other one. We should make money there. Okay, these buses. North Shopping Loop, we have way too many buses on there. Let's have a look. Um, so, manage vehicles, we have 12. Let's get rid of four. Let's see if we can get some economy into that one. Well, yeah, that's not shopping. We just did that. Okay, so which one is this? It's Malmö. But we have... We have a lot of people waiting here. So I don't want to remove buses on there. So let's look in the other direction instead. So 28 million. The Gothenburg Stockholm train. Yeah, that's, that's our money... Well, we get a lot of money, almost 30 million, so almost twice that we get from uh, Oslo and uh, Narvik and Oslo Kalmar. Well, we are making a lot of money. It's not that much here. There are a few bus lines. Yeah, this one is, let's pause so they don't move around. So this is only 15 passengers in Eskilstuna. Can I move? Yeah. So, there are no people waiting at all. We don't have any. We only have six. Let's remove two. Do we have anything else? Luleå. No, I want... Um, Gothenburg. Do we have any... Uh, no. There are no, no people waiting anymore. That's maybe because we have so many vehicles, but I will remove four anyway. And I think that's it. Let's unpause and let it run for a while. And we should make five, well, up to four billion should be pretty easy. And then we should make five. So what's... It doesn't look like there is too much waiting time here. Well, you will take another loop from Oslo. We have a lot of planes going there. Let's see how Stockholm does. Do we need all the planes? Yeah, we need definitely need all the planes. We have we have eight on there. I don't want to add more since we have four planes on this line as well. Now you come in, full plane from Stockholm. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's have a look at our machines. You are waiting. Yeah, we are producing a lot. Did you just, no, that's fuel. Yeah, but we got stored. How is this? This one is going back empty, of course, and this one is going full. You're producing that. How is our trains? 
you are coming down there with a the full load you are pulling in and yeah you will have to wait a little bit for them and these guys are yeah you are working there you're producing planks we have a lot of stored and we got okay we got a new bus so what's the difference let's see if we how is this line doing our bus line so it's six people passengers waiting there you can take 16 so let's say if we want to upgrade that's 21 so it's five more people actually we don't need to do that on this line, I think, unless there is a lot of people waiting here. No, it's not. So that is going full. You are coming in. How are our trams doing? Yeah, there's not more much people waiting. We have two. There are some people coming here. That's okay. But do we have any other city that is crowded? There is some people here. So where is the next? You are coming there. Let's just follow this one and see. Yeah, it's quite far between them so what's the finances yeah we are barely making that the condition is good do we have any other no so maybe we should add do i want two more tramps on this yeah let's do that because it, it's quite a long route and uh, yeah, there is a lot of people waiting here at the moment over. But the more people move around, the more we'll use the tram line. No, the, the train line. But I'd love to use the new double-decker buses there. Or not double-decker, but the long buses. Okay, there is quite a lot waiting here in these two stops so let's upgrade we won't add more vehicles but we will use the new buses that take five more people okay let's take we're coming in 14 people there Yeah, it's even bending. Look at all the people waiting there. So do we have any buses on the way? Going that way? No, this is also quite a long line. But we're not making money on this. Well, it just... But since we have so many passengers using the trains, I think... That's okay anyway. Full train coming in. Almost a full train will be leaving. How is this? We have the short station here. You're pulling out. Yeah. That's half. Yeah, making two point, almost 2.3 million there. So let's have a look at our... Holy crap, Oslo Malmö. That's a lot of, we only have four. Yeah, we gotta double this fleet. So let's see, you're going to Malmö, good. Or did we add the other one on, okay, they were added up in Oslo. How does, okay. This looks like the passengers are going down for some reason. 
Look at that. Yeah, we need more on Oslo and Luleå as well. Uh, so we're gonna double the fleet. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I thought you were heading to uh, Luleå without taking with you some passengers. Well, it's 1977. Where is our Concorde? Or maybe the Concorde isn't, because uh, we're using, could it be that we are using American vehicles? I didn't see uh, if it was, because Concorde was um, a European. It was UK and France who built it. It was British Airways and Air France that, uh, that bought them. Well, maybe, uh, maybe it's in, in the late 70s. But since, well, Boeing is, is Boeing? Boeing is American, right? Airbus is European. Okay. New planes, but this is, that doesn't look like a cargo plane. Let's uh, see where it's all slow here. So if we pause that one, we're gonna manage. Let me just see, go for passenger. Okay, it's 20, but it's, it's slower. Whisper yet more than more than three hundred units were built, so it cost eight point three, and then it's almost one point four a year. So it's a little bit cheaper. It's a little bit slower, but it takes the same amount of people. So no, we're not going to upgrade that. We we want the we need the larger Boeing's. I think there's one that takes like 65 people or something like that. And that is something we need. Well, I will let this run for a little while. And then we see if we can get some more trains and planes and uh, all that so we can up do some upgrades. So, see you in a bit. couple of years and we just got the TGV available and uh, I definitely want to use that and I'm, I was looking the capacity of that one is 100 uh, is 144 passengers so it, it's quite long that's why I want to use it so I'm going to replace this uh, let's see I will add that it's 207 meters long that's 300 Let's replace. Uh, so what happened? Come on. There we go. So you coming in here, I'm definitely gonna take a ride with this one. Does it fit the station? No, it doesn't actually. Pause. Okay, we did the, is this the short one? This is the, let's, let's just see. I think maybe this is uh, too short. So let's see. Let's, uh, let's send you back. And then we need to uh, do something here. So let's configure this. We will just add, uh, yeah, let's, we have the slow one already, so let's do. We only have one station here, that should be enough. So let's add platforms, passenger. And we don't have a platform on that side. 
So maybe we can add a roof here just to make it look. Is it there? Uh, okay, this is a new platform roof. Well, it doesn't look good, but <laughs> it is what it is. So let's move this back. Then we add the quick, quick one going in. And then we do that. And that is okay. So let's see how it looks. I think these platforms are okay. We might need to do them a little bit longer. I think this is a long one. So the question is here. Uh, let's unpause and see. Yeah, it looks like a long platform. So let's pause, head back to our train that was leaving the station, and then we will take a ride and see how quick it will go. So as long as we're going over 140 kilometers an hour, it's gonna go quicker than the, the old train, and we're already up to that. So 160. 70 So what's the length? That's okay. And then we continue. And it's uphill, but this is a strong strong one. So we're heading up to Trondheim. This is a long station as well. Some more people joining and then we... I think this is the longest. And hopefully we can get... Was it 180? That was the top speed before. So can we reach 200? In the tunnel? Oh yeah, it looks good. 215 almost, so. And we're pulling in and it looks great. So now we are using that bullet train. <coughs> well guys, I... I really like this game and I'd love to like connect more cities and use all the industries but we don't have enough resources for it so I think it's time to to uh, put an end at this series and uh, I will definitely do a new one and then I will take a closer look before I choose map so we have enough industries so we can deliver and like everything the cities demand. So I will look for uh, custom-made maps and uh, let's see, maybe we do an American map, maybe we do a European map. If you have any suggestions, what you wanna see or if you, the, you know of a really good map, please leave a comment and uh, I will definitely take it under consideration. But I will say thank you very much for now. Um, I'm playing a lot of different games, so have a look through the playlists. Uh, uh, there, there are some really nice games. Uh, I'm, I'm playing a new one called Chernobyl Light. That is a little bit of survival, crafting, a little bit of horror in there. It's, it's really good vibe in there. You run around in Chernobyl. Um, and uh, I will definitely play Surviving the Aftermath when uh, there is a new release. The Platinum will hopefully come out soon. So yeah, please uh, give it a like if you like this and maybe even a subscription so you won't miss upcoming episodes. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.